Hi, I'm Jenny from Transportation, and today I'm going to talk to you about two things. How to evacuate a school bus and the safety inside and around the school bus. But first, I'm going to talk to you about the safety inside and around the bus. Come on, I'll show you. Safety is number one on a bus. It's a good idea to talk to your bus driver about what's expected of you. Here are my top five expectations on a school bus. Number five, keep the bus clean. That means no damage or graffiti on the seats. It also means putting all trash in the trash can. Number four, everything stays inside the bus. That means your backpack, your head, your hands, and even your voice. Number three, use an inside voice. That means only the people around you can hear you. Number two, hands to yourself. Number two, hands to yourself. Number one, stay seated. That means seat to seat and back to back. Wow, that was easy. Be sure to ask your bus driver what they think about these easy to follow expectations. And now let's move on to bus stop safety. In the morning, let's follow a few basic guidelines. Number one, get to your bus stop five minutes early before your pickup time. Number two, if a bus is moving, never run after it. Three, stay away from traffic. And number four, don't approach a bus unless the bus driver has stopped and given you the signal to come on aboard. All right, now let's talk about getting off the bus in the afternoon. Number one, stay seated until the bus has come to a complete stop. Number two, when you get off the bus, stay away from it. Take at least 10 big steps away from the bus. If you forgot something on the bus, do not approach the bus. Get the driver's attention first and ask for permission to get back on. If an item is left on the bus, don't worry, your driver will keep it safe for you. And finally, number three, wait for a signal to cross the street. Take 10 big steps out in front of the bus and wait for a signal. Never cross behind the bus. Do not just cross on your own. You cannot see traffic behind the bus and the traffic cannot see you. Your driver will use their mirrors to see all the traffic and signal you once it's safe to cross. The last area to discuss is at your school. We'll keep it real simple. In the morning, stay seated until the bus is stopped. Get off the bus, stay away from the bus, and go right into your building. In the afternoon, get on the bus. Now that we've covered the safety inside and around the bus, let's go over what we need to do if we have to evacuate. In an emergency, it's usually safest to stay on the bus. There are only a few cases where you would actually need to evacuate. If there's smoke or fire, if you're stuck on train tracks, or if there's imminent danger. Are you ready to evacuate? Let's go over a few of the things you would need to do. The front door is the safest and fastest way off the bus. If you can't find a switch to operate it, there is another way. There's an emergency release lever right here on top of the door. You flip it and then push on the left side of the door to open. If the front door is not accessible or there is not enough time, use the nearest emergency exit. The location of emergency exit doors and windows may vary from bus to bus. It is important to locate all of the emergency exits on your own bus. When opening the emergency exit windows, read the directions, locate the handle, and release. The same goes for the roof hatch. For this hatch, turn the knob and then push on it. 
for the other type of hatch, turn the handle and push on the hatch itself. When evacuating a bus, there are two things you want to take with you. The first aid kit and the fire extinguisher. These are going to be located up near your driver's area. Be sure to ask them where they're kept on your bus. To use the fire extinguisher, start around eight feet away from the flame, pull the pin, aim at the base of the fire and spray side to side. If your driver isn't available, you need to secure the bus. You do that by pulling the parking brake like this. You also want to turn off the engine by turning the key and removing it, just like most cars. There's also a two-way microphone that you want to take and hang out the driver's window, just like that. You use the microphone to call for help. You push the button to speak, let go to listen, then tell them who you are, the problem you have, and your location. When exiting the bus, it is critical that you stay calm. Leave your stuff on the bus and exit in a calm but quick manner. Stay seated and stand up one row at a time. Once you are off the bus, move to a distance of at least 100 feet. Stay together and stay away from traffic. If you are stopped on train tracks, exit the bus immediately. Move away from the bus towards the direction of the train at a 45 degree angle. We hope this information was helpful. And if you have any questions, you can always ask your bus driver. Thank you for your time and have a safe trip.